Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloud Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to Plunderer Episode 6. And yes, you guys heard me correct. We did not drop Plunderer. We are continuing our journey through Plunderer. I did not give up on it yet. I'm actually really looking forward to the next couple episodes. But the only reason why I didn't upload on Wednesday when this is normally scheduled is because for the past couple days, I have not been feeling the best. I've been having this weird pain in my chest where whenever I'd laugh, it starts to hurt a bit and with an anime as goofy as plunder I didn't want to put myself through that kind of torture and so now we are finally here we're going to get back into it the pain is still there a little bit but it's been like three days so far and if I don't get through it now then I'm never gonna get through it so it is time to jump into this series so in the last episode we had jail and licked they continued their fight from the episode before and jail was actually really impressive now it seemed like he was faster than licked and he just had licked completely outclassed like towards the middle of the episode he had him like bound to a wall using his iron powers and licked pretty much just gave up like he wasn't even trying after that and it turns out that um he wasn't actually outclassed because as soon as Jail started talking to Lin and he kind of like crushed her dreams and made her feel like crap, that's when Lick pretty much broke out of the chains and he was like, alright, it's time to put this clown in his place and that's exactly what he almost did. Um, but Lin, the ground fell beneath her because she was like sitting on this cliff and so she was falling and licked in jail both jumped to go grab her and licked got to her first which shows that licked is actually way faster than jail he just probably wasn't using his full potential which actually brings me to two questions two big questions going into this episode one if jail and lynn's conversation never happened would he just have gone along with jail and let him like lock him up in a cell I feel like the only reason he brought out his true strength was because Lin was getting put down by Jail, but I don't know, it, I'm just wondering why he didn't go full potential from the start. And um, my second question is what is Lick's true goal? Like what is his goal in life? What is he trying to achieve? If he's, it kind of seems like he's trying to lay low, but at the same time he's not because he's walking around with this weird mask and this giant pudding costume. So it's like, what is he really after? What is his goal? That's, those are the two questions that I have going into this. But anyways, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will grab your source videos if you don't have one of your own. As per usual, we will have one linked in the description. It'll be the first link that you see, so all you have to do is click the link, bring up the video, and get ready to sync it with me. Because we'll be starting this episode in... 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. Let's see what this episode has in store for us. We're starting with the opening. Okay, okay. So, the first thing I want to say is I just want to apologize again for uploading this so late. I felt so horrible not uploading for two reasons. The first reason was because it set my schedule back. Like, my schedule was already normally, normally pretty busy, and so setting this back would have made me have to cram it into somewhere where it doesn't normally fit so that's pretty much what i'm doing right now and the second reason is because so many of you guys were requesting it like you guys saw that it wasn't uploaded wednesday and then there were so many people like when's the next plunderer yo where's plunderer and i'm just like i'm sorry <laughs> i'll get to it as soon as possible <laughs> but it's really cool seeing how much you guys want to see this series because I actually like it. Like, I have hope in it. Or faith in it, I should say. Because it's a very cool idea. Um, it's a little bit confusing at the start, though. Not gonna lie, because... You're just given so many questions, like... 
One, where are the other aces? Are they still alive? Did they all die off and Licht is the only one left? Why did Licht give back the ballot? Like, why is Licht running? There's so many questions. But I mean, we have 24 episodes to go through, so... Hopefully, they explain it soon. Before we get too deep into this. Oh man. Oh my gosh, she has a new mask now? Hey, new city, new mask. Oh man, and is he a crow? My boy? Is he a member of the cloud crowd? That is a proud member right there. Oh wow, and we actually... Bumped into him? That's unexpected. Is he gonna dip? Dude, oh my gosh. You gotta at least change up your outfit, man. She's not letting him go anywhere. We caught you. A feeling that he'd be in the middle of nowhere? Dang, Licht is tall, holy. Her head is like only up to his shoulders. That was completely a coincidence. <laughs> what the heck? What are the odds that right when I go for my water, she takes a drink of whatever she's drinking? Ah, smart. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I saw that coming. As soon as she, like, kind of leaned back, I knew he was in for something. Oh, he's going to have to work for a meal. Oh, snap. She's holding that over his head. Oh, man. He's going to have to face everything now. Did she make, like, a box lunch for him? Oh my god, of course, of course, dude. I don't know much about proper cooking. And then she makes this, like, bomb lunch box for him. Like, what the heck? Way to be humble.
I just realized his uh, number kind of revolves around girls accepting or rejecting him, but he's kind of a lady killer. Like, Hina's kind of, I mean, I guess you could argue that she's fallen for him, and Lin has fallen for him as well, and who knows, this might be girl number three. That's one weird looking machinery she's got going on there. Oh man, is that like this world's version of the Wright brothers making their first plane? And here's a licked. Dang, man. That would have been a nasty fall. Of course, dude. <laughs> yep, I have a feeling that's girl number three right there. What? Oh, no. Whoa! What are we examining here? <laughs> I know, Hina. Dude, I can't imagine what she's feeling right now. Man. <laughs> What? Okay. Did she have a hunch that that freaking plane was gonna work? Cause I don't know about that one. <laughs> Oh man, what was it called? Um Oh, what was their first plane called? The The Wright Brothers. Their first plane. It was like the was it the Kitty Hawk or something like that? I think it was the Kitty Hawk. I don't know. Or licked, <laughs> since he can just jump that high. Also, what is that on her head? That looks so weird. Ooh. Death. Dang. And why is that? And executed? Why? I could understand, like, being locked up for it, but executed? Dang, man. 
That got real for a second. She's not wrong, though. Oh! Oh, snap. Does Lick know a thing or two? What was that? What did he add? He knows face, dude. Oh. I can understand the little dilemma that he's going through, though. Because, like, yeah, he's helping her dream come true, but her dream is illegal. Like, she could be executed for what she's trying to do. These two, man. My brethren. Man, where are the other aces? Are we getting into it? Oh, man. We're getting this answer sooner than I thought. Oh, my gosh. Come on. You can't do this to us, man. Gosh, I hate licked. <laughs> Is he actually serious? Okay. Alright, and then we're getting to this licked again. Jeez. Dude, this guy has like zero chill, man. Jeez. Looks like she came at the perfect time. <laughs> what did she add? He senses something. The military. The jail. Oh, I guess not. Maybe it's time for us to fly out of here. They can't catch us in the air. Oh, snap. Or we could cut them down. I mean, either one works. Oh, wow. Dang, I know. She's got to be heartbroken after this.
Ooh, a nice cover up. But I wonder what she's thinking right now. Well, at least she's understanding. That's good. All right, looks like it didn't turn out too bad. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Wow. Did it like go down with every failed attempt? Wow. Bro, where are these hands grabbing, man? I agree. <laughs> it is pretty gross. Oh, that was the ninth prototype. Dang. Wow. Dude, now that I think about it, this world is kind of scary, dude. Dang. I thought it would have tried to- Oh, it is gonna try to grab her! Oh! Flashbacks. What was that all about? Bro, it's taking these hands forever to drag her into the abyss, dude. Dude, this is very anticlimactic. Like, these hands are dragging her so slow. Dang. I mean, I like her, but they were giving her way too much screen time. Like, <laughs> they grabbed a hold of her, and she had like a whole two, three minutes to talk <laughs> before getting dragged into the abyss. <laughs> like, what was that? That did come completely out of nowhere, though. Oh, yeah, and like I was saying, um, this world seems like it'd be so scary, dude. You don't know what your best friend's number could be for. Oh? What was that? Hmm. Okay, um, but what I was gonna say is, you don't know what anyone's number could be for. Like, you could have a best friend in the entire world that you've grown up with, that you've known your whole life, and they could have a number that just, like, ticks down every time they sneeze, and say they start at, like, well, I don't know. How long would it take to get through a thousand sneezes? Like, <laughs> I don't know. But, like, 
it could be something as simple as that. And then one day they just sneeze and they sneeze their last sneeze. And then they get dragged into the abyss. Like, that's so crazy. Alright, so I guess I said a, a good amount of the things that I wanted to say for the end discussion during that, like, ending of the anime. But I guess another thing we could talk about is Licked. Clearly, we can see that Licked has this, like, darker past that he's trying to keep from us. He's trying to keep from Hina. He doesn't want anyone to know about. And to kind of change the subject or change the topic, he goes into, like, pervy weirdo mode. Which is kind of, like, at first, you kind of thought it was a part of his character. Which, I guess, in a sense, it is. But now I'm starting to see it more as, like, okay, he's just doing this to kind of cover up or change the subject. He's not actually, like, this weirdo. Or maybe he is. But still... It's clearly a cover-up, and he's using it to hide from, I guess, the reality that he's lived. So, it's it's weird. That's why, like, watching him and Hina this episode, when they left while the girl was working on her plane, it was kind of weird, because it's like, alright, dude, now you're just kind of doing this to, like, just doing it to do it. Like, there's no real rhyme or reason behind it besides just changing the subject so um there's that and then another thing one last thing that i'll say before i end this episode is um licks number now the way that it works seems really weird because he told us that it goes down every time that he's been rejected we don't know what number he started at but we do know that whatever number he started at, we have to add that on top of the supposed 1001 times he's been rejected. Which makes sense because he's been alive for over 300 years. You meet a lot of people in 300 years. You meet a lot of girls in 300 years. So it's understandable that he might have been rejected about a thousand times. But the thing that confuses me is does his situation with Hina really count as her rejecting him? I mean, I guess she did when um, he was like riding away in the carriage and she was like really mad at him. But now like she's come back into his life. Like she was searching for him this whole time. She's finally found him and she seems really happy that she found him. It's almost clear, like crystal clear that she likes him. But if she does, end up like falling for him and accepting him if that makes any sense will his number go up one to kind of counteract her rejecting him before but that is pretty much everything that i have to say and with that i'm going to end the episode here so if you guys enjoyed the episode make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice sharing content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that i am going to head out and i will catch you all oops in the next one have a good one